Hello guys, well, the crazy idea finally comes to fruition. There she is, that's the pack you've seen me build. And I've got it strapped inside my Makita Sight Radio. So uh, we're packing about 12 volts there at about 10 amps. It's going to run that thing for about, whew, I don't know, two or three days. My old battery packs that were like 3 amp hour used to last a good 5-6 hours. So uh, I'd imagine that thing's going to last me for a good long time. It's a good sounding little unit too. It's had some, uh, it's had some plaster throwing at it though over the years. Now, oh, there she is. All fits inside. A little bit of foam at the bottom. I'm going to attach the voltmeter and uh, have some wires coming out. Attach the voltmeter somewhere so I can see what's happening. Though it does have a low voltage cut off on the unit. Just to show you what's happening. That's where you'd normally put your... Oh, sorry. Messing about with the camera. That's where you'd normally have your battery pack. You put your larger ones in there. 18, 20 volt packs that go on there. And then this is where your normal, like the, the packs with a little chimney on, they just slip in there. So we've just got two wires running straight onto them, some spade connectors, a little bit of foam in the bottom just to hold the, uh, just to hold the pack when I, uh, when I shut this up. But it's all self-contained, every cell's fused, you know all about this, you've seen the videos, we've got a balance cable on there, charging's dead easy, I just remove one of these here. They're just spade connectors, fetch them out, crocodile clips, boom! Jobs are good. So uh, I suppose we should close it up and uh, give you an idea of what's going on. This is a terrible video, I'm ever so sorry. It's absolutely lashing it down outside. I think I'm going to have to build an arc if it carries on like this. Though collecting two of everything might be a little bit tricky. <laughs> Especially the fish. Know what I'm saying? The fish. Know what I'm saying? Where would I put the whales in an ark? Eh? Know what I'm saying? Ah, you know what I'm saying. We shut that up. Click it up. Up with the volume. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've yeah, got a little bit of Sheffield Life FM. Go on. And I'm down in the cellar right now, so uh, that's doing well to receive anything. It's, uh, Next thing is to fix it to the bike. Oh yeah, it's got an input in it for the iPod or for uh, any other MP3 CD player. Or a Walkman, if you're a bit retro like me. But uh, yeah, cool. Oh yeah, beautiful. Soothing sounds of Europe. Nice. Okay, well, there you go. Well, just a quick one. The crazy idea comes to, uh, comes to completion. It's in, it runs. I've got a little battery powered system, it'll do me a good 5-6 hours, no problem. Uh, reckon I could probably run some on uh, uh, blah, 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 could probably run some uh, ancillary stuff off there too. Um, definitely, I've got an input at the front. Um, I could just run a cable out and uh, use that to power whatever it is I'm running into there, like a USB power for a Walkman or something like that. Everything is great. Like that. Like that a lot. Hope everybody's well. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, we're going to do some more bike videos soon. Though I must confess I haven't got any further with it. So uh, until next time people. Bye for now.